Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today's project is going to be a mixed media canvas and frame. So the frame I am using I picked up from Asda Home and it is a moulded plastic frame which I am going to use my black gesso. There it is. And I'm going to paint the front of the frame with my black gesso. So I won't make you sit through the whole of this process as it will become a bit boring. In the end I actually used the black gesso and I did three layers of the black gesso. So here I'm just using the inlay that came with the frame to mark off my stamping card so that my stamping card will fit into the frame. So now I'm just using the glass to mark off where the actual picture will be seen onto my card. I am now going to use Creative Stamping Magazine issue 60 and I'm using the stamps that come with this. There are a lot of autumn items, Halloween stuff, um, which is going to be used quite a lot I think this year. I'm going to be using the Distress Paint Rusty Hinge, Spiced Marmalade, wild honey and bundled sage now i'm going to use my brea to add the paint onto my card i'm now using my second color and layering this over the top of the first color This is now the third colour. And now I'm using the fourth colour which is Bundled Sage which is a very pale green which will knock the colour back slightly. So now I'm using my free stamps and I'm just priming them. Like I said before, sometimes with the free stamps, it's worth just inking them up, stamping them, cleaning them with a wet wipe and then stamping them again. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why, but the after you've cleaned them with your wet wipe, the impression seems to be a lot better. I am now going to use my jet black archival ink to stamp the words onto my background and the words say autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. I am now going to use my tiger lily archival ink. And now I'm using my potting soil archival ink. I'm now using my Sunflower Archival Ink and this stamp is Little Splashes which I do all over the background. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now going to use some orange corrugated card from my card pack and I'm going to cut this down to size and then tear the edges. I'm now using a piece of raffia which I am sticking down with my cosmic shimmer glue and I'm just wrapping this around the corrugated card. I'm now using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the corrugated card to my background. I am now using my Jet Black Archival ink again to ink up the squirrel and stamp it onto my stamping card. Going back to the frame, as you can see I've let this dry and I am going on with my third layer of black gesso. I am now going to use my orange Cosmic Shimmer Shimmer Shaker and I am just adding some water to my mat and putting the Shimmer Shaker onto it and mixing it up with my fan brush. I am then just covering the words with a piece of paper and I am using my fan brush to add splashes all over my background. Moving back to my frame, I am now going to use my Deco Art metallic paint. This is copper, and I am going to dry brush this over the top of the gesso. Now, this process can be quite long and boring, so again, I will just show you a little bit and then skip to the end. So hopefully you can see the effect that it has made. You can still see some of the black gesso coming through in the background. I am now going to use my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils to colour in my squirrel and I will stop talking and let you enjoy the process.
and that is my squirrel all finished I'm quite happy with that and I am going to cut him out I am now using my Faber Castell Pit Pen Dark Sepia to go around the outside edge of the squirrel to cover all the white edges and I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer Glue to stick the squirrel onto the corrugated card. Obviously I'm not doing that just yet. Oh there you go, I'm doing it now. So that's my Cosmic Shimmer Glue and I am sticking the squirrel to the corrugated card. So I'm just going to put the card into the frame and add the back to the frame and when I turned it over I thought there was something missing so I took it all out and I'm just stamping the leaf sprig again just in the middle there and then I'm going to put it all back into the frame. And that is this project all finished. If you would like to buy any of the products I've used in this video, they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end cards at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.